Guys, we're here at the 2019 ATA show. We're here with Dennis uh, from Obsession Bows, checking out the whole new lineup from Obsession. And he's going to give us a rundown on each one of the models and uh, give us some specs and information on all this stuff so you guys can uh, make a good decision when you're picking out your new Obsession Bows. So, Dennis, I'll let you take it from here and uh, give us a rundown. All right, well, folks, we're truly obsessed with the new lineup for this year. We made some big changes for Obsession. We went to the new three track system. It's uh, uh, an awesome cam system. On the average, we increased the speed of the Obsession bows each model by about eight foot a second on our high-end bows. So what this allows you to do on the three tracks cam system, where you're used to using a bow press to change a mod, now you do not have to use a bow press. Big change for Obsession. Like I said, we increased the speed. So I'm gonna start with the FXL. This is a 34 inch axle to axle bow, which a lot of people like. And as you can see here, this is in our new veil camo, which is new for this year. Now we also changed the limb pocket design from a six piece to a three piece, which is on all of the high end bows. Now the FXL at uh, 34 axle to axle, of course you can see this bow right here on the backdrop. Uh, it's, a, it's a good looking bow. It's a fast bow. Like I said, they all speeds are up to eight foot a second faster than what we were last year. This bow is a uh, 350 foot a second bow. Now next we have... It's pretty impressive for a long axle. Oh, axle. absolutely. You don't usually see 350 out of a 34 inch bow. And one of the other things... That I like the sounds of the new modules too, so that's going to allow us to do some adjustments and not have to mess with the press too much. And what, uh, so set up from a shop standpoint, it, that's nice. From a shop standpoint, like you said, it is awesome. And uh, the other thing... The FX6, everybody likes a six inch brace height bow. That seems to be the norm in the industry for hunting and shooting IBO competition, ASA, and your local 3D events. Got plenty of speed with this bow. The FX6 is up to 360 foot a second, and that's a smooth draw cycle. It's dead in the hand. Something Obsession's always been known for is we build a smooth drawing bow that's extremely dead in the hand and is fast. There's a lot of bows out there that are smooth and dead and quiet, but we're smooth, dead, quiet, and fast. There's a lot of bows where they build speed and the speed bows that are harsh to draw. But Obsession, we stay right there in the middle of everything. We want a fast bow, but we want one that's smooth and dead in the hand that's comfortable to shoot as a hunter. And this year, with our bows, we got up to 90% let off. So, with that being said, on that FX6, there's no way you can go wrong with this bow. Uh, plenty of speed, 32 inch axle to axle, smooth, dead, just a really good bow to shoot. Now, our next bow that we've got uh, that mimics that uh, FX6, which I do not have in my hand, is the seven inch brace height. Okay. Seven inch brace height is gonna get you the 350 mark. 350, seven inches, 32 inches, axle to axle. There you got the three tracks, OV, cam, same cam system. So and just a little more forgiving with yeah, that. Yeah, and now we, we have 12 different draw lengths in, on this three track system. So give you an example, your six inch brace height bow is gonna go from 24 and a half inches all the way up to 30. Okay. And so, and then you've got the uh, FX7 goes up to 31 inch draw. So the other bow that I'm holding in my hand that, and as a during our preview in the first of November we launched was the Lawless. The Lawless. People are thinking, wow, five and eighth inch brace height. How, how easy can that be to shoot? Well, you know, bows are not made like they used to be. It used to be a five inch brace height that would kill you during the draw cycle. It was too stiff to shoot, and you could you'd be lucky to get. Yeah, 330 out of a bow with a five inch brace. Well, this is up to 370 foot a second. If you shot this bow and seen how smooth, felt how smooth it was, how dead it was in the hand, you'd be like, my God, that bow is smooth for a five inch, a five and a quarter inch brace height. It's right between five and a quarter, five and an eight. So, so you said 370 on this bow? Up to 370 foot a second. If I you're mean, a speed bow guy, if you're a speed this guy, is something to look at. Cause, I mean, Exactly. Yeah. I think the only thing else even close to it on the market would be maybe a PSE full throttle or something like That's that. That's correct. So That's correct. So you, I, I think you owe it to yourself to walk in the shop and shoot this bow and see how it feels. 32 inches axle to axle. You got your three tracks cam system and up to 370. Now that 
we launched here at the show. Let me grab this one. Now, this is a bow hunter's dream. We listen to the industry. So before ATA is said, well, we gotta say something for ATA. Everybody's talking about the shorter bows. We see a lot of them at 28 inches, a lot of them at 30 inches. These 30 inch axle to axle bows, this particular bow that I'm holding here is the FX30. It's got a six inch brace height. It has the three tracks cam that goes from 24 and a half inch draw up to 30. Blazing speed to 360 foot a second. Very smooth, very fast, dead in the hand. This is a lighter bow. It's a lot lighter. This bow, the riser slimmer. The bow is a small frame bow and it feels like it's got a longer axle to axle on the draw with this cam. When you draw this bow back, it feels more like a 33 inch, 34 inch axle to axle bow. So the bow's not only quick, but it's light, smooth draw cycle. And you know, for the guy that's hunting in the blind or if he's hunting in a tree stand, this is the go-to bow for the bow hunter. And like I said, you could shoot 3D with this bow, but this is, I think you're gonna do amazing with the sales on the FH30. I think this is one guys need to look at because this is gonna be an all around shooter uh, and higher speeds than most anything else on the market when you're looking at something. Uh, an obsession, like you said, always been known for that smooth, solid back wall. That's right. Great feeling bow. So guys, take a look at these new obsession bows. Uh, I think they're gonna be some winners in here uh, that you really need to consider. If you're looking at changing up, you know, we always got those Matthews Hoyt, you know, all those top brand guys. Uh, and you know, we know what they are, but hey, you need to look at this obsession stuff and really, really consider it because I think there's some replacements here that there's gonna be some switch over, some guys throwing some stuff away and going to obsession. One of the things I'm gonna add right here at the end in closing, if you can think about the camo you want on it, most likely we have it. A quick rundown, Veil Camo, new for obsession this year. We have the Mossy Oak Camo, we have the Real Tree Camo, we have the Cryptic Camo, we have the Last Leaf Camo with all of their variations and offerings. So you think about that, there's a lot of camo there. We do the Fusion colors, we do the Fusion Matte color, the Fusion Glossy color, we do the Custom String colors, we do the Orange Cams, we do the Black Cams, we do the Red Cams. I don't know if there's anybody else in the industry that offers what we offer in your custom options. So, and at an MSRP of $9.99, map price $9.49, your obsession is right there in the hunt on the price and for the offer. It's like going to the Jaguar place to get a Jaguar versus getting a Ford. You're getting what you want right here, a custom fast boat. Alright guys, we just finished up talking to Dennis about the whole new lineup and the new FX30. We stepped over here to the, uh, the shooting lanes, uh, took a few shots out of the FX30, uh, and everything he said is true. So what you need to check out, man, I mean, dead in the hand. You can see it with they got the optional let off, the 80 to 90% let off. Uh, I believe this one probably is on an 85 just from the feel of it, but drops into a really solid back wall with that uh, limb stop as always and uh, just creates an extremely solid back wall and just a great sitting bow. So speeds, obviously he was talking about them, uh, 350, 360 out of this bow, and uh, just a real good shooter. I think you need to take a look at this one. Uh, there was a little bit of vibration in my hand, but not a ton. Um, very dead for what it is and having nothing on it stripped down. And uh, I believe this might even be a 70 pound bow. So um, check this one out, new FX30 from Accession. Great feeling bow, and uh, the whole lineup looks really good this year. I think they made a turnaround and, and making some changes here, and, and something everybody needs to take a look at with Obsession. It's zipping for 60. I like that. All right, guys, we stepped up here and we're shooting the Lawless. Uh, and that was the speed bow that Dennis was talking about at 370 feet per second. So this thing's a speed demon and we're shooting this one at 60 pounds and a 28 inch draw and you can just see it when you let go. It, uh, it's flinging arrows at a higher rate of speed. So uh, I'm not a speed guy, but for a speed bow, it does have a good feel. Um, doesn't roll over too aggressively. It's got a little bit of aggressiveness to it. And uh, when it drops off, 
it's good and solid. So you, you get that high let off. Uh, it's not hard, doesn't want to jump out of your hand, doesn't really want to jerk your shoulder out or anything like that. Uh, it's just got a good feel once you get back there. And uh, at 60 pounds, this thing felt really good to shoot. So uh, like I said, solid, dead in the hand, no jump, anything like that. But for a speed bow, if you're a speed guy, uh, or short draw length and trying to gain some back, take a look at this Lawless, because I think uh, there's nothing on the market that's going to be close to it. I think in the earlier part we mentioned the only thing close to it in speed is like a full throttle. And I'll be honest, uh, we shoot a lot of PSEs there at Mike's Archery, and a full throttle is my least favorite. So it, the thing will just rip your arms off. But uh, this is not that way. For a speed bow, this is very, uh, very forgiving, very smooth, and, uh, and easy to shoot. So check that one out, the Obsession Lawless. All these bows range in, you said 949 map, most of them range in, what, 8 to 9? Uh, the, bow, the bows, uh, your map price is 949 on your high-end bows and retail MSRP is 999 So basically every bow we, we've looked at here today is at yeah, 949 yeah, Right. Now okay. we do offer um, what we call a mid-price bow, which is our turmoil, which are, uh, some of the magazines wrote about it last year as being the best mid-price bow in the industry, and it's a 350 foot a second bow with a six and a half inch brace height. Something for you guys and to consider out there. I mean, yeah, obviously not everybody wants a thousand dollar bow. And it retails for six ninety nine. Then Damn we man. have the HB 33. It retails for five ninety nine, and it's in the three forties. And it weighs a little over three pound. And it is a rotating mod system on the turmoil and the, on the HB 33. And we offer the hashtag for the kids. Okay. And I'll guarantee you that hashtag, you can shoot it against any youth bow in the industry, same pattern, same arrow, everything, and I guarantee you it's faster. The hashtag, great boat. It goes from uh, 17 pound up to 60 pound, and the draw lengths are 15 to I think it's 26 and a half inch draw length. Okay, Dennis, I just want to thank you for thank taking you. your time and going through the lineup with us. As always, guys, check us out on Facebook, check us out on YouTube, follow us everywhere, and. Uh, Check out these Obsession bows most of all because I think you got some winners here. Full line, full range from low end to high end. Whatever you're looking for, uh, they've got it. So check them out and call us at Mike's Archer. We'll get you set up.